So in this video, how to be an asshole. If you want to be an asshole, you definitely want to be a social justice warrior or a third away feminist. You have to be a member of one of those groups. Because being an asshole requires you not to care about other people's thoughts or opinions. And let's face it, nobody cares less about other people's opinions and thoughts as a social justice warrior or a feminist. It doesn't matter, male or female, white, black, whatever, you can be an asshole and belong to those groups. Just don't give a fuck about other people's opinions. Who gives a damn? Don't let people express their opinions when it's different than yours. Block people, censor them, go to the UN, say stupid ass things like, you know, really want to be an asshole, say similar. Well, if you're not a feminist, then you're sexist by definition. You don't use a definition version of feminism when it fits your point, and then change definitions when it's unpleasant. Like when you know, you say something that's racist or sexist. I can't be a racist because I'm not white. I can't be sexist because I'm not a man. You know, and then change the definition of racism or sexism. You gotta be an asshole and do these things. If you want to be an asshole, don't look up Adolf Hitler. Do not read his book Mein Kampf or watch his videos. Because if you do, the one thing you're gonna find out is that a lot of crap that he says is similar to a lot of shit you're saying. If you want to be a social justice or feminist or Black Lives Matter group. Sorry, but it's true. And same with Stalin and, you know, French Reign of Terror. Remember, you know how all these groups are. Let's face it. Adolf Hitler wasn't too, felt that Jews had too much power. And, you know, you take away the power of one group and you give your group power. Eventually, of course, it led, led to violence. The same thing with Stalin, you know, the, the proletariat. You know, they're being oppressed by the burgesses and all this stuff. And then you have the um, French Reign of Terror. You remember they start cutting people's head off you know, of the intellectuals and the wealthy people. You know, who cares that your ideology does lead to violence? Who gives a fuck? I mean, let's face it, Adolf Hitler was one of the more famous social justice warriors. Read his book, Mein Kampf. Be an asshole, but be an asshole and don't. Just deny all this stuff, you know? And keep saying stuff like, kill white babies and kill these people and all this stuff because they think differently than you. And another part of being an, being an asshole, you know, say only white white men can be sexist and racist, you know. Let's take the rights away from these group of people. Well, maybe we'll give it back to them 100, 200 years from now. You don't say stupid ass things like that, you know. Uh, I mean, after all, history is full of people losing their rights and then getting them back, right? No, it's not. You know. We can, I mean, and of course the worst thing you can do is read books and watch videos on ideologies and things you do not agree with. Don't do that. you got to be an asshole. Do not try to learn ideologies or learn other people's ideologies. Listen to what your uh, social justice warrior professor says. After all, they've lived in the real world, right? And it's scientifically based. Actually, it's not. See, this is how science works. Science you have to prove what you're saying. You have to prove, well, you have to prove, you know, you have to come up with hypothesis, you prove it, becomes a theory. And when you present these things in peer reviewed, reviewed journals or publications, you better be right. But your experiments better be fucking right. Or else you're fucked. Your reputation can be fucked. But they sort of, these non science professors, they just give you their opinion. That's all there is. And if you're a professor, you gotta be an asshole and give your opinions as if you're right and misinterpret, misrepresent other people's ideology so your students won't learn. Because just like a preacher, you know, when they're preaching, they tell their students lies about evolution. You want to do the same thing when presenting stuff about other people's ideology and belief systems. Anybody agree, disagrees with you, call them a liar, a hypocrite, and all this stuff. You know. Do that. You got to. You got to be an asshole. That's how you're an asshole. Why not listen to other people's viewpoints? You know, throw urine at people, spit on them. You know, stupid things like that. You know, it's the men's right organization. You know, giving a presentation. You know, about male suicide and how men have certain higher levels of certain cancers. You know, you want to interrupt those meetings because you want to be an asshole. How dare those men talk about issues that are affecting them? That uh, now, if a man tries to create a 
my center for men are abused. Hound him like fuck. I mean, keep hounding him and make sure the government doesn't give him any money so he can't open up a men's shelter for men and boys that are being abused. So he eventually has to commit suicide. Do that. That's what you got to do to be an asshole. You know? And also to be an asshole, just listen to what these social justice warriors do and keep doing it. Listening to them. Keep bowing to their fucking demands. You want to be an asshole, right? want to be an asshole, you got to do these things, you want it, that's the best thing, like, you know, say so with Black Lives Matter and get pissed when someone says all lives should matter, you know, don't work, let's not all work together and solve our problems, no, let's separate, you know, all these men, these cis, and this white men, and these men, and white people, they're evil, and they don't need to be part of our group, mm -mm. create the black only areas and women only areas. Why should we all work together and solve our problems? You know, you want to be an asshole and create bitterness and hatred. Let's let's keep going along this path we've been going on for thousands of years where we all instead of working together just fight against each other. Because you gotta be an asshole and do that. I mean who gives a fuck about our future generations, right? Who gives a fuck that these social justice wars are going to look like fools in a hundred years? Think about it, you know. The baby boomers. And then my generation, Generation X, we basically made fun of them. The baby boomers are kind of like the millennials today. Somewhat, except for the baby boomers actually had stuff to protest against. You know, that was really, they really had racism and sexism. Today, there really isn't that much. There are many other people who are racist and sexist. We all encounter those assholes every once in a while. And that's another thing. If you want to be an asshole, you got to be a racist and sexist. But pretend only certain, and also pretend only certain groups can be racist and sexist. If you want to have fun, go to these racist and sexist websites. Well, uh, racist websites. The more anti-white and anti-male websites than there are, and on videos on YouTube than there are anti-women and anti-minority. Sorry, sad but true. <laughs> but go to them, they're funny as fuck. The racist ones are funny as hell. They'll have you on the ground laughing because of shit they say is so similar. Whether they're white or black, I don't give a fuck, okay? They're going to say the same bullshit. Oh, their women are ugly. Our women look good. They want our women. They hate you more than you hate them. They, than you hate them. And they're dumb. And they, they're monkeys. And this shit, that shit. Fuck this. And go to their sites. You'll see. Then you got IHateWomen.com, IHateMen.com, men are better than women.com, all this other bullshit. No gender, let me tell you something, the journals you have between your legs doesn't make you better than someone. And no one really gives a fuck about that. But the problem is, you got too many people who constantly, constantly want to bring up race and sex. And then people, they be an asshole, get offended by the dumbest things. Turn everything into a racial issue or a sexist issue when it's not. Just do that, you know? Like if you're a woman and you're talking to someone, gives a different opinion. It's because they're sexist. Or if you're a minority, it's because they're racist. Maybe they just have a different opinion than yours. Maybe you're just an idiot like I am. You know? You gotta be an asshole and not listen. Don't, and don't you dare read books or anything on other people's ideas. Like I said earlier, don't do that. Do not read books on other people's ideologies. Sorry about the noise. Somebody's out there mowing the lawn. And I can't do nothing about it. I just want to get this bullshit over with because I really am getting kind of tired of it, these videos sometimes. All this social justice work crap, just, it's annoying. I really don't, you know, it's just that they're annoying because, they're, let's face it, social justice warriors, you got to be an asshole by being violent, vulgar, nasty, rude. And if you're a professor, never allow your students to show any ideology that is against yours. Just fail their, their ass or give them bad grades. You gotta do that. You know. And I want to say this, it's gonna piss people off, but true, the true professors that actually are intelligent, you're gonna find them in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Sorry! Now you may say, well, what about art and music? Yeah, they're more intelligent than those social justice warrior crap classes. I'll give you that, but because you do have to have knowledge, especially with music. You definitely have to be intelligent to do music and art. So I'll give you that. 
History, same thing. Other than that, they're not, if you're any other of those other professors, I hate to tell you this, they really are, you know, opinions. You know, social science, you know, yeah, they can probably back up some of their claims. They're still better than the social justice warriors. But the, most of the stuff, all of this other, you know, women's studies and crap like that, it's, it's nonsense. Sorry. And be an asshole and, you know, whatever. For free to give a thumbs down, leave a negative comment so I can laugh or whatever you want to do. But I love laughing. I always laugh at negative comments because they say more about you than me. And I really don't give a fuck. Because <laughs> I'm an asshole too. I'm a dumbass anyway. <laughs> but anyways, feel free to like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Watch other videos. Thanks.